I promise you we both know a difference in religion is a big thing. Quite right. How would you bring up any children, for example? Children? When did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking hypothetically. And the fact is, most marriages that fail found are for precisely this kind of reason. An irreconcilable difference. Or maybe they just don't get on. No, I'd agree with Larry. It's usually more than that. Yeah, it might be different beliefs or different nationalities or a huge age gap. In the end, they cannot see eye to eye. I've known Sybil all my life. So you can imagine how curious I was when I found out you'd be here tonight. I never thought we'd meet in person. As opposed to what? In spirit. Well, you see, to us, in marrying you, it seemed like Sybil had left Downton Abbey forever. If you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. Did they lose your suitcase on the way over? How maddening for you. No, my suitcase arrived safely, thank you. Along with my manners. Oh, chap, of course this stuff matters a great deal to you. Yes, it does matter. This stuff. It matters a very great deal. What's so funny? Nothing. I'm just enjoying this vivid display of Irish character. Please, Tom. We don't need to wear everyone out. Oi. What's the matter? Am I not being polite enough? Wait a minute, this was down to you, wasn't it? I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. I saw you. You put something in his drink, didn't you? Just before we came in. That's not true, is it, Larry? What a beastly thing to do. Oh, come on, Edith. That's not like you. You could always take a joke. A bully's defence. Listen, everyone, Mr Gray has given my brother-in-law something to make him appear drunk. Could it be drink? No, not drink. Some horrible pill. Sybil, take him upstairs. You're no monker, sir. Tom has been the victim of a cruel prank, which I know you will all be kind enough to forget. Forgive? Perhaps. Forget? Never. Is this true, Larry? I don't know why you're all getting so hot under the collar. He's only a grubby little chauffeur chap. Yeah. 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 Be silent this instant, sir! I apologise for my son, Mr Branson. Unreservedly. I only hope you recover before the wedding. I hope so, too since I want him to be my best man. Bravo! Well said. Do you really mean it? Honestly. I've told you before, if we're mad enough to take on the Crawley girls, we have to stick together. Oh. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you so much. Has anyone told Lord Merton we are here? Certainly not, nor will they. You don't need Mrs Crawley to take him off your hands anymore, do you? And you won't have to wait long. So he lies upstairs in the shadow of death and does what you tell him. Why should we disturb his peace? I heard Lady Grantham's voice. I can well believe it. Why did nobody tell me they were here? What's he doing downstairs? He caught me unawares. And why have you stayed away? She didn't stay away. She was denied entry. What? Is this true? Of course not. Right, here's what we'll do. We'll go up now and speak to your valet. He can take everything you need to my house this evening. Father, this is all unnecessary and unpleasant. Might I suggest that we... No! I've let you steer us long enough. In future, I'll look after your father. But surely it will be better no. for us. Larry, as my son, I love you. But I've tried and failed to like you. Will you please leave me to get on with what remains of my life? This is your home. Not anymore. Take it. And may you have joy of it. And furthermore, I intend to marry him as soon as it can be arranged. This is ridiculous. Father, Mrs Crawley wants to take you away from your son and your family and kidnap you into marriage. What do you say? How perfectly marvellous. And who can argue with that? to marry Mrs Crawley here. Well, she seems very nice, and I wish you both every happiness. Thank you. But that doesn't prevent me from seeing that the wide disparity in class and background may prove your undoing. What did you say? Only that Mrs Crawley, a decent middle-class woman with neither birth nor fortune, is expecting to fill our mother's shoes as one of the leaders of the county. 
Is she capable of it? Or will her inevitable failure prove a source of misery to them both? You know Mrs Crawley's late son was my heir. What does that prove? Everyone has distant cousins who are fairly odd. How dare you? Will you go, Larry? I had to make excuses for your rudeness the last time you sat at this table. It is tiring to think I shall be called upon to do so again. I know the choice of in-laws is eccentric in this family. You already boast a chauffeur, and soon you can claim a Jew, but even so... Why don't you just get out, you bastard? And suddenly we've slipped into a foreign tongue. Well, if that is how you feel... I do not endorse Tom's language, but that is certainly how we all feel. Then, Lady Grantham, goodbye. And thank you for a delightful evening. <clears throat> what did you imagine? That we would welcome you with open arms? <laughs>